Hello everyone, JC here from the cloud team at Canonical. Today, we will be showcasing a notable upgrade to the Azure Update Manager Center, the incorporation of Ubuntu Pro Update notifications. This feature is still for our ongoing collaboration with Microsoft, aiming to ensure the longevity and security of your Ubuntu VMs on Azure. We are now in the main page of the portal, and we are looking for the Update Management Center. My case is right here. It may be different for you. In that case, just use the, the search bar you have on the top. Once we get there, the Update Manager Center is a very useful tool by Azure that helps you to check the security status of all your fleet, including Azure native VMs and also the VMs that are connected via Arc, can be from on-prem or from our clouds. Here you can see the status and actually schedule updates, do the updates, uh, on the spot, et cetera, et cetera. The integration we are talking about shows here in the last panel called pending Linux updates. You see that in this example, it says there are 222 security and critical updates. Of those, 213 are security ESM updates. What are those security ESM updates, you may ask? Well, Ubuntu Pro is a subscription by Canonical. It provides enhanced security, compliance, and system management tools for organizations using Ubuntu, in this case, in the Azure Cloud. One of the key features of Ubuntu Pro is Expanded Security Maintenance, or ESM. This extends the security maintenance period for Ubuntu LTS releases from 5 to 10 years. It also expands the security coverage to a greater range of packages. The newly integrated Ubuntu Pro feature in the Azure Update Manager system helps users to identify Ubuntu instances that are not receiving all the available security updates, including the ones delivered via Ubuntu Pro. Now, let's see an ex specific example. We are back to Update Management Center. From here, you could go to Machines and select the machines that you want. Other way to get to this page is from the home you can go directly to the VM. And then on this menu that you have on the left, under Operations, there is a section called Updates. As you can see, we are on the same page. A data for this specific page is telling us that there are 42 critical and security updates, and all of them require ESM. Here on the bottom, you see each of the packages. This is paginated, so you could see all of them, and this is very important. You see here this warning. It indicates exactly what I have been saying. This specific security updates requires an Ubuntu Pro subscription. And you get a link for more details. On that link, you will find more details about Ubuntu Pro, that we already saw some information about that, and specifically, as this was an 1804 machine, was the situation because is on end of standard support since May 31, 2023. That makes these updates provided by Ubuntu Pro even more relevant. And at the bottom of that page, you see the ways to get Ubuntu Pro. Uh, the, there are two mentioned here. One is on the marketplace. You can find Ubuntu that from launch time is already Ubuntu Pro enabled. This works if you can redeploy easily, meaning that you have a, a pipeline. If it's not feasible for you to redeploy, the suggestion is to contact us and we can provide a token that will help you to apply Ubuntu Pro to existing workloads. There is a third way to get the token to create Ubuntu Pro and is the free token provided for personal use. And if you are an official Ubuntu community member, it can be used for up to 50 VMs. You go just to Ubuntu Pro, register for personal use, and you need to sign up or sign in if you already have an account. In my case, I'm already in. So after you finish that process, you have your account, you are um, logged in, you go to Ubuntu Pro dashboard, and you will find your, your subscription, your free, free token in this case. That, in my case, is for, for five machines. 
But again, for official community members, it goes till 50. And you see the command exactly to apply it. We copy, and I will tell you where to apply it. We are back to the portal. So we have the command to attach the token that will, will allow you to convert your existing Ubuntu LTSVM to Ubuntu Pro. You can run that command here via SSH to a machine, or here is a useful tool from Azure for running a call. You just say run shell script is with your particular token and run. This will take some seconds. After some seconds, and when the text changes to execution complete, you can see the output. It was successful. Your VM now is an Ubuntu Pro VM and has some services like ESM apps and ESM infra enabled. These are the ones that allow you to get those extra updates. You can enable uh, some others. You, you can see also light patches there, for instance. Now that your machine is Ubuntu Pro entitled, you can go back to this view of the updates of the machine. Next time that you manually or automatically, because you have the schedule, check for updates. This warning is not going to be here because it's, it's on it. You already have the subscription. We can skip that step and we can do the actual update. I'm doing it manually, but you can have it in a schedule with the window as, as is recommended. I'm selecting one machine because there's a scope right now, but if you do it from the update manager, you could select more than one VM. This is very convenient for a bigger fleet. Here you see a review of the packages that are going to install or updated. Next, just select your choice for reboot option and the maintenance window. Next, install. Here is the message saying that is already submitted that action and this will take some minutes. As you may imagine, that action takes some minutes. But the result is here. There are not more updates available because all of them has been successfully applied. The incorporation of Ubuntu Pro update notifications into the Azure Update Management Center provides tailored security guidance for Azure users. We aim to supply our shared users with relevant, timely information, empowering them to make knowledgeable security choices and boost Ubuntu security on Azure. 